Hey guys, um, welcome to our tech support channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone your old hard drive. There can be many reasons for cloning, and by cloning, I mean everything, every little details will be cloned. So all the stuff saved in the computer, as well as the application, even the um, settings inside the applications, everything will remain exactly the same. Now you can use this, um, you can apply this to both laptop as well as the normal sized PCs or the smaller PCs. So to begin with, obviously you are going to need your older hard drive and the new hard drive. Um, now in some situations you might need a caddy that can help connect your older hard drive to uh, via an USB to the USB port of your new system. Now, sometimes just do look inside to see if there are slots for the both SSDs. If there are slots in there, then you do not need to buy any sort of caddies. But if you don't, then depending on what kind of hard drive you have, if you have one of these, then you're gonna need 2.5 inch caddy. They look like let me find mine they look like this some of them look like a box but if you have like m.2 ssds then you might need something like this but as i said just double check if your machine already has slots for both of the hard drives then you do not need to buy anything in this example um, machine for example so this is my old hard drive and that's the new one I'm upgrading to and since this plugs right into the machine I do not need to purchase any caddies if that makes sense so I'm gonna connect this up give me a few moment and I will show you on the software side what you need to do now once the hardware is set up you need to make sure that your system actually boots up from your old hard drive and uh, this is particularly important when you are putting both of the SSDs inside so just let the machine know where to boot from so make sure it's from the older hard drive once you got the older hard drive uh, running the machine what you can do is you can download a software called Minitor Partition Wizard uh, this is something I do not have any affiliation with this software um, I use it myself it's a free software tool there is a paid version of it as well so just uh, remember I do not have any affiliation and I would link the description in the comment section but if it gets removed do search it on the internet uh, one advice I would give though just download the version 10 there are further version after that but version 10 works well and this tutorial is based on version 10 so once you got it downloaded open it And once it's opened, click on launch application and then you should be met with this one. So what I tend to do is clear the new hard drive that we're going to copy the OS to. So in this case, it's the disk 2. Um, I know it's disk 2 because I know the my older hard drive is 128 gigs. And yeah, so I'm going to go right click and delete or partition. Yes and then I'm gonna click apply okay now you can see this is unallocated so which means this is completely cleared up so now I'm gonna start moving the process of migrating the OS so I'm gonna click on to migrate OS and then this is where you need to choose so if you're going to just copy the applications and the settings and all other files and stuff you don't want to be it to be moved then you would select I would like to move my operating system to another hard disk but if you want everything to be moved select the first one so in this in my case I just want to copy the settings and the applications that's it no other files so I'm gonna select option B so remember for your case if you want to move everything every little details then you're going to select 
option A and then click next. Now we're going to select the SSD. Obviously I know I'm going to I am going to upgrade to a bigger 256 gigs. So I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to click next. Now in this again I prefer to feed it onto the entire partition and the other one it just doesn't make sense to me so I'm just by default I prefer to leave it as number one but if you want um, to have an entire partition free you can do it this way but it leaves with too many partitions so prefer number one and then next and then finish and then this step um, don't forget if you do not click apply it's not gonna go anywhere so let it copy and so once it's done copying it's going to give you an option to restart it's going to say um whatever just just restart and then it's going to restart and then you will see some things like that on this screen is very important for you to pay attention because if any any sort of error occurs it's going to tell you so let the machine boot Okay, so for some funny reason, there is an entire chunk of this is not displayed, but don't worry too much. Just pay attention to this percentage number over there. So it's going to show you the progress. Mine is copying faster because I only choose the applications and the settings to be transferred, not the files themselves. So it's going to be much faster. But if you selected the entire thing to be moved, then it might be a while so just keep it keep an eye on that one again just like i said it is important because if this gives up it's going to tell you the error at the end if it is successful it will tell you it is successful so sometime it will it will reboot either way but you just have to keep an eye in case the reboot was after an error so you just don't wait around now while we're waiting i would mention some useful bits so uh, when you copy like this obviously it copies everything so um, if you are on a new machine then just go to settings and then go to windows activation and then activate the windows with the new activation code because in most machines the windows activation key is in the motherboard itself so if you just go into the settings and click on to windows activation is going to activate automatically uh, also when you use this software sometimes you might see some unwanted partitions so i'm going to make a separate video about how to get rid of unwanted partitions uh, completely these partitions they don't they are harmless but obviously you don't want your file explorer to look cluttered so i will make a separate video which would be linked in the description below also do check out our ebay um, store for cheaper pcs much cheaper than other places if you have any questions just leave the questions down at the comment below we will answer when you have a moment and if there is something we missed you can always ask us we will answer as soon as we can if you look at the number it's reached up to 88 89 percent uh, the ssd i'm using is a site ssd so it's a bit slower than the NVMe itself. Now the copying is complete, so the system is going to reboot. All right, now it looks like the system rebooted, but remember, this system is still booting up on the old hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine off. 
and once the machine is turned off I'm going to take the old hard drive out and see if the OS has been copied properly now this is a moment of truth I'm gonna try turning the machine on on the new SSD to see if it boots up All right, so this uh, looks like it's been a success. Um, if you pay attention, you will see um, in the older hard drive, we actually moved to this icon here. Now that it copied it, even copied the location of the application itself. So it's an exact clone. Now, um, just to test things out, earlier on I mentioned that um, because you copied an old um, hard drive, it's gonna have all the all the settings in it so if you want new machines windows to be activated so you go to update and security for windows 11 this is pretty much the same and you go to activation and you're gonna have to be connected to the internet and once it's connected it's gonna update automatically now here is one thing you need to note as well I know this video is a lot running long but I do not like you know half ass um, explanations so you run into more problems so if you for example copied an OS from a different system maybe different model or different manufacturers which would mean that the new system has different sort of configurations maybe even different hard drives which is going to need a different set of drivers so what you have to do is you go to settings and then update the windows so when you update it obviously it's automatically it's going to download all the driver that it needs so make sure you do that because if you don't have all the drivers you need maybe right now it looks all right but later on you're gonna face some problems and also just double check if the um, in the Windows Explorer double check if the memory configuration is right so the SSD I put in was 256 gigs after the OS and everything 199 gigs left so which sounds about right sometime it might show 128 gigs so you have to uh, make sure you activate the remaining of it um, there is if you run into that issue let me know I do have a separate video